disappointed us. Ndate lo sing haka jenu real levo ha. Real levo ha modi muaka real levo ha. Jo! Ki mosholo mukaka. Horato akwe na modi muaka ya lukile. Bless your word this morning, Lord. Bless your word in the hearts of your people, modi muaka. Bless your word, Lord Jesus. Lord, I sense like we are on a threshold of either connecting with you or disconnecting with you. Thank you for your power of your Holy Spirit that enable us, Lord, to look upon Jesus, our author and finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. And let the house say, Amen. I don't know say celebrate. I'm in the celebratory mode. Can I get an amen to you? <laughs> that those people give them a round of applause. So they cause a trouble for themselves this because by their standard and next to give expect they set a standard and make it longer level, let's say higher than there. And they get a good to say, I'm demand that standard is high. I'm just quiet, actually, about the high standard. I'm so excited to see what has happened here in the front. Get a bill, a whole whole bona set, I think a bill. You know, get one of them, it's a shopping. I saw God doing a shopping. Ah, isn't it wonderful? How hot the whole night? I saw God doing shopping. Get one of them, a red. At the Satolia high, he brought his trolley, Matoho Abatubahai, hands of his people, doing what it's supposed to do, Ayeta Seo Batlemel Embassy, not to remain closed, but to open to Impa Abu. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you say hi to somebody next to you? Akore Hai, Homotaru Tempelahau, Ujuang, 
Mobutu, Ujwang. Ujwang. Tell him, oh, hey, do you know what? What's the key? I must tell you this. Please, get someone to tell that. It's very important. Yes. I must tell you this. I'm more than what you think I am. I might be your next boss. It's not negotiable. <laughs> I might be your next boss. Hallelujah. Amen. It's nice to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Amen. thank the Lord with such a wonderful reign. Uh, we know others were inspired. In the name of the Lord shall forever be praised. Now we thank you all the leaders that Jean pitch up and volunteers. And um, so that we may serve the African community. And it went very well. We thank God for what you have done. Um, church. It's a hospital. And uh, May this hospital that the church is it's a hospital of spirit. And again, hospital. the major or the main focus of the church is to transform one another souls. And we cannot win the souls if we are not well equipped. Or sing Satan and be not prepared to go and combat that what the devil is guarding with. So two things of people that are coming inside the church is those who need God to to transform their lives. And those whom God needs to use them to change or transform other people's lives. And now, as a result of that, Banaba Mudim, our work is amazing. It's so big and amazing. And our work is not dependent on whether Moruti or his nose. But we depend upon the power of the cross. And now you need to guard or we 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 say introspection as a person. Or on which category are you? As we work towards what God wants to achieve. Kabani, the people who watch when it happens. Because and are those who make it happen. And are those who wonder what happened. There are those who just watch. That what is happening. And those who make it happen. Those who wonder what happened. So you, you need to decide. In this tree, where are you? Are you wondering? Or are you making it happen? You are just spectating. Now when we say we are a church, that is aligned to a certain mandate. The Lord. We all know Matthew 28, Shapa right sent and left. But there's a way to reach to Matthew 28. You are going to Cape Town. But there are certain routes that 
Whether you like it or not, you have to pass through them. How you have you have to go through certain things. Have you ever heard when somebody gives you, no, I know the place, um, ate them, but only to find it? No. He or she is not knowing the place. But Utsuba, Libiso, learning next to the place. You know the name, say Limpi Lasbakase. How are they going to fit a Kronval? When you go to Deben, you pass via Kronval. Then when, 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 how are Bloomfontaine mean to say? Oh. And now when I say to you that um, uh, um, I was in Kronstadt, then the person who's not careful of those things, yeah, I know Kronva. Because it's just next to Kronstadt. Okay, Kron, Kronstadt. Oh, oh, many people will say, I stay in Cape Town. I don't know, Cape Town. But I Ah, so you need to understand your identity. Not only that, even the mandate that comes with. So we are a church that is on the move. I can assure you of that. Let's go into the book of Nehemiah 2.18. I told them of the hand of my God that had been upon me for good. And also the words that the king had spoken to me. me and they said, Let us rise up and build. Omuli. So they strengthened their hands for the good way. You know this book very well. When you hear of Nehemiah, you already set up on the mode of thinking, rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. And he says, and I told them of the hand. Of my God that has been upon me for good. Not only the hand that was upon me, but for good. And also the ways that comes from the king. Let us rise up and build. So strengthen their hands for their good work. Last week, when I started, I asked you, who inspires you? Kare, stop thinking Moyo Hallan, stop thinking Jesus. Because it's not what really ex ex inspires you on your daily basis. And it's not supposed to be your But there are people, Bupilomba, how that bring some sort of influence. In and I want to caution you re, that three people that you need to be careful of. Oh, 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 oh. There are three elements. Let me put it that way. Be careful of people in your life. Don't let yourself be or life you determine. Secondly, don't fine tune yourself based on money. And be careful of your past experiences. We, we normally want to talk to people's lives based on our past experience. Instead, Oh, Lidella into what? So be careful of people, money, and past experience. Now, Mudimu Kadina Gotoke, Utamila Atotli, 
needs to be glorified at all times prior to the happening. God has to be credited before the happenings happen. For we apply faith in what God is saying to us. And why we have to believe what God is doing even before it happens. Is to keep us from taking more credit. That we did this ourselves. That is why I say I'm excited. I saw the Lord doing shopping. Not us doing shopping, but God using us as channels to do shopping. So, the praises and honor needs to be given unto the Lord. For we set to walk not by sight, but by faith. That's we were cultivating growth. And we said all for God's glory. And since last week we say my hand is up. And this is very critical for you as a believer and again where you are fellowshipping. Now, when we speak of building, we're not merely speaking of building. But there are ways where you build. So the vision of the church needs to be built up. Spiritually, we need to be built up. For Mapilo Arona are dependent on the growth that happens. Our lives are dependent on the growth. And thus, therefore, we said um, in 2023, we set focus on three things. We, we, we will be relaunching what is shining light. We will be rebranding who is shining light. And it's my prayer when we rebrand um, the logos and everything. In how you, you approach or do things. Time that you spend in your life. And the second thing that we'll be doing, we'll be celebrating our 20 years of existence. And it will be a very big day, I can assure you of that. So we're going to have three days of Besh that I call. <laughs> Now, because we'll be having a relaunch in, in January, therefore we are not going to do the revival. But during that birthday, the night of that birthday, we'll be continuing and say, I'm still standing, which is our theme annually for the revival. Then the Saturday of that will have a galadina. Imagine, man. We are not organizing a galadina. You are going to organize a galadina. It's not me. You, you will. You're going to organize a galadina. You're going to organize a galadina. I'm going to look for 16-inch heel. <laughs> the sharp one. Okay, not a magic. You come in walking. So you must like make sure that the doors are open. <laughs> so that's what you, Shiny Light, are going to do. Yes. Can you give yourself a round of applause? <laughs> Then we round off with our Super Sunday. And the third thing that we said to do in the year next year, we're going to have road. We're going to have a two-day summit. Friday and Saturday. Pastors and leaders in this area, even 
out of this table will come to that summit in Zungwe, where people will be taught the substance. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Ah, I'm excited in my spirit. Yes, yes. That in my lifetime, in the growth of this church I'm there even when I'm not there my reference will speak about it why? because I have good fingerprints <laughs> last week, they, are they, are lost. they don't know what I'm talking about I have good fingerprints hey! yeah Let's all uh, my hand is up. Hallelujah. Amen. So God is going to see to it that we achieve all this. But I don't want to lie to you. It's going to be a mega, mega way. You might worship, worship, pray after saying amen. There's a work to be done. So, let our hands find something to do. This I'm not going to do alone. Cancel is not going to do it alone. But all of us need to do this. Now, Let's go to Nehemiah 6.9. Now, I go to Nehemiah 6.9. Now, I go to Nehemiah 6.9. I told them that the hand of God is upon us. I have the assurance that the hand of God is upon them. Not Nehemiah, but them. them. They say, Kaho, let us stand up and go and work. Okay, we remember Nehemiah is giving the king his commands. Then the king, one morning, is not happy. Nehemiah, why are you feeling like this? Uh, Jerusalem walls are down. And the king says, go, 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 go. go. Go and fulfill the work. Go and do the work. So then now he's talking to these guys. Now about we see, Lord, no. they understand what is it that he's all about? Something that Nehemiah he did. goes alone during the night. There are nights that seeks you alone. Okay, I'm not talking night. about the night based on time. But there's a moment where you walk looking as you are working and the Lord would speak with you. He brings you among people. As you come in among the people, you come and speak among the people. And when you speak among the people, they confirm so subwa. But he says that you are sure. Ah. Oh yes. How about their appreciation? You don't look for hopelama at all. Oh, but a confirmation in Yasem Mudimas of what God is saying about that, upon that matter at that moment. Now, listen to what he says. For they all made us afraid. Say, Your hands shall be weakened from the work that it may not be done. Now, therefore, O oh God, strengthen my hands. Do you yes. get the contrast of chapter 2 and 6? So now, on 2 is talking to the people. And they confirm but when you come to six years, he pick what is happening. 
There are those who are do you see the danger in that? And that's what happens every time when there's a work to be done. So, okay, God, I, I, I see. Here's the problem. So that our hands should be weary. And be weakened to that extent that we don't want to do anything. Now, therefore, God, strengthen my hands. Then how? Now, now how, how do we strengthen our hands? Now, lady, you, you said to us that uh, after praying, fasting, worshiping, we wake up, open our eyes, here is How do we do that? How do we achieve it? You need to ask for God's for God to give you strength. To help you to have certain form of strength. Because when we start to work on our own strength, we quickly wear out. You know, I'm reminded when my son, first time, I don't know, uh, I want to go and do um, karate. I don't know what we now don't So Rorisan went to do a um, practice uh, session at Karaj. So remember, I said, ask the Lord to give you strength. Right? So I guess the strength is high in the presence of Mewa. The high was the presence of his man. So, hey, Rorisa. When you come after the cinema, you saw that a dragon master. Because you saw him doing all that. So my son did a lot of movements. Guess what happened following day? <laughs> he says, the more she gets, we couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> Born. Look now. How about we impress about? You? If you want to impress others, totally depression. You will have a depression. Yes. But ah, how depend on with him? But when you are dependent on the Lord, or a you say, I can't on my own. To say, oh. Help me, Lord. Yeah, Rabbi Tatian, welcome to Here is the welcome. We will hear new tongues. Because we want to impress because us. Because we want to impress us. Lewandowski, uh, in, uh, you, uh, hear new words, Lewandowski. <laughs> you are depressing yourself. <laughs> In fact, the house where your throat will be so sore because <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Depend upon the help of the Lord so that we be energized all the time. When we labor in God's power, we receive sustaining energy all the time. And the second thing that we need to do, we need to draw strength from God's way. Eh? The first one, he gives you strength for way, and strength is for it. But then the next thing, we need to get strength from his way. Once you have God's word, it, it energizes you to have a perspective of who he is. And you are not doubting his promises. It's very easy to say his promises are yes and amen. But real, are you standing on yes and amen? Now, are you those who say I'm tired? I get tired. I get tired. I'm so tired. Now I will get it back on Sunday. I'm so when I'm in the spirit, I'm in the spirit. And when I'm on the flesh, I'm on the flesh. You lose the focus of the direction. Time with the Lord settles everything. 
and it realigns you to God's way. There's a saying that says, when we work, we work. When we pray, is God who's at work. Ah. <laughs> Isn't beautiful? When we work, we work rude. But when we pray, it's God at work. Then it means there must be revelation that God brings all the time. So we need to draw strength from God's will. Third, we need to release what weakens our hands. <laughs> yeah, say, 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 um, say, 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 but method, empa, mem. Oh, uh, your hand is a good footprint. Are you happy? Fingerprint. Fingerprint. Oh, Morena. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, and Amudim wants to put something in your head. <laughs> and God over to Kenya John Kalzula. But you don't let go. So whatever that the Lord will bring comes here. And it doesn't fall down. Because Amudim is Amudim is He is not a wasteful God. We have been saying, hey, 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 let me I want to brush from your anointing. And as well, they, they do brush it off. Because they come here with open hands. You will hear, I've tried this. I've tried this. I've tried this. On the last minutes, it didn't happen. Because it's a hard. It won't happen. Because you don't want to let go what but is weakening your hand. That's what is weakening the hand as it It means means you offer but you offer so much. Okay, let's 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 be fair with one another. All of us, me included. Uh, somebody said to me, <laughs> <laughs> we are in church, let us not lie. <laughs> So now, if you want to lose weight, I give you Luna ladies. I'm talking to us. Six pack, all the time. We always want to break the six pack. So you set to to lose weight. Oh, lose weight. And you do the the good things. You buy the right stuff. You stick to the a, 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 a routine. on the routine. But in this routine, there is a, a intervention, an invited intervention. I swear, I swear, I I I swear, I swear, I swear, I I I and then it gives you the thought that you have to chew. Those are the sweets. So let me don't eat that food. And the more you chew them, the more you take in this glucose that is not needed. And you encourage yourself. Ah, but I'm still on the routine. In fact, you are contaminating what is there. <laughs> Bless us, O Lord. About bless. And he would bless you. You remain with that blessing. You are not impacting kingdom. Hey, be careful. You can have a blessing in your hand. It was a blessing when it came. But you contaminated it. While you still think you're having a blessing, you're having a curse in your hand. Help us, Jesus. 
So when we say we lose weight, we say we release what is weakening us. Now the question is, who influences you in your church? In your social space, who influences you? Is it a good influence or a bad one? Or after whatever influence that you have, if you remain with guilt, we don't know because God is talking to you. He says, check that. So, now ask of the Lord that he may reveal that what weakens your hands. There's what is called kiss and say goodbye. Don't be afraid to make a kiss and goodbye. Number here of phone nya ya lahleka mistake. That number on your phone is the time that you let go. Ke nako ya hore ha ha ie. Mudimo o tlosa level nyo o be o yeng. God is moving you from one level to the other. I'm not talking hatred or whatever here. I'm talking realizing when God moves, he removes. What was up? What was up with you? Yes. Check a fellow. Check a fellow. Check a fellow. Check a fellow. Look what happened with your life. Okay, let's forget that. All you leaders who are here this morning, check what God has removed in you. You go in to carry the umbrella. The white man is under this umbrella. God removes some of the things wrong. For us to be better. Ambassadors of his kingdom. The fourth one. Don't procrastinate. There is no more time. There is no more time. Because if while we are procrastinating, we are delaying our ability. When we are we doing something, we are not doing anything. Stop procrastinating time. Because when, once you do that, you get frustrated. After being frustrated, your vision gets clouded. You cannot see as you are supposed to see. Hello. Hello. Life tends to disappoint. Life will always bring disappointments on the way. That is why preparation is so good. And there's no prayer that can substitute it preparation. So stay focused. Paul also let all things Paul says, be done with decency and in order. For order to be there, then it means time has to be right. Decency, we should understand that the respect of the other person. And the fifth one, Fellowship with godly people, man. Spend your time with godly people. People who can encourage you on your work with the Lord. Remember, I'm talking to people who are supposed to work again. Yeah. So, fellowship with godly people. People who can strengthen your faith. They are saying in your life. But the days that we are living in are influenced by so much Lord of gossip. Sowing of divisions. And mocking is what is celebrated these days. People, when you are down, instead of them lifting you up, they rather use their, their legs instead of their hands to put you more down and down and down. But once you fellowship with godly people, 
week up until Bayes was strong. The Holy Spirit strengthened is strong, but only the Holy Spirit is the strong So it, it is this kind of a divisive relationship. Divisive. That brings division. That will weaken your hands. And that is why you use your, your words more than your hands. Because you cannot fight the battle with your hands. For the battle with your hands, it is a reward. But I can say it in the loo from the loo that But I can say it in the you need to carry the way. You need to move. You receive it. You need to put it there again. And you would feel it that something happened. That is the way. That needs to be done. You need friends, friends that will strengthen you. Now we see this when we read 1 Samuel 23, verse 16. Now, it is, David, it is David's son, Jonathan. Le Saul. And, and, and Jonathan. And he's with David. Now, listen to what he says here. Then Jonathan, Saul's son, arose where and went to David in the woods and strengthened his hand in God. Now check out how we are using the hand in this. Then Jonathan Saul's sons arose and went to David in the woods and strengthened his hand in God. Are your hands. How listen back and says right. When you are in the wrong place, will be weakened. for God. Now look what David could have done. Now it was during the time yeah 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 Saul trying by all means to kill David. And I believe when Jonathan arrives, if he had a heart. That is rotten. David will have said this. Let me finish with Saul, sir. Not because I want to kill Jonathan, but because I want to inflict pain. Oh, do you understand? It is, it is at that moment that evilness will disregard what is good before it. So, David could have killed Jonathan. He, he, was, he was supposed to be the opportunist. He would have he killed would have the opportunist. some of the blood of Saul. Let me do away with them. But Jonathan, Brought to his head today to strengthen him in the Lord. Listen to what verse 17 says. It's not up there. My father will not find. This is Jonathan. He says, my father will not find you. He will be the Lord. The His king. father wants to kill David. But he proclaimed. But he proclaimed. But he proclaimed. He proclaimed. He proclaimed. He is there with his hands to strengthen him. And he says to him that my father shall not fight and you will become the king I will be your second in command he says the right one oh my god I will be in your hand 
but not just a hand. But I will be your right hand man. And that is why after strengthening him, when Jonathan was no more, David now when he's sitting on the throne, whom of Saul's house that I can bless. There's no blessing as I include in the there's no blessing that can be put into practice. Without the blessing inside. And we cannot short circuit God's blessing. One of the servants of God brought their sons for them to be blessed. We want them to be blessed. But God, please don't miss this. God has got a good plan. So, when they have now brought their children, the elder one is brought to the right hand side, and the youngest on the left hand side. But on that day, the Lord says, Your cheek is in Instead of his father blessing them like this, he crosses his hands. Not his words, but he crosses the hands. Shining light. Shining light. God is crossing his hands. There is no more time for blessing. That can be short circuited. But every blessing, every gift, it will go where it's supposed to go. It will stay where it's supposed to stay. And he crosses his hands. Church. It's likened to a, a bride. It, 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 it and again, like an army, and again, like a building or a body. But when Paul says, he says we are the co-laborers. We are not just members in this church. We are partners with God. And what does partnership imply? It means we use our time. Talented our own. Our gifts. Treasures. To build God's kingdom. Everywhere where we function. Bring, bring me that table. I'm demonstrating this to you. I said I'm going to challenge you every Sunday. I said we are partners. And we use our time. Talent. Treasures. No, no, no. Give me the, the, the smart one. That's ugly. Yeah. Give me the round one. I'm a child of the most high. Yes. Therefore, I'm smart. Yes. Decent God. Oh, <laughs> how happy am I when I see this? So we spent our time. We spent our gifts. We spent our money. Everywhere where we find ourselves. And but we also pay when you go there. Last week, I challenge you and I said to you that um, we know that for a fact every Sunday somebody is walking out that door without or there's somebody who's coming through that door fully depending on this nice coffee that we're giving 
And there is someone else walking out here. I get a go put like the lakhono fitla ka nako ha. Pretending that they are here on a rush to get home. Get Yet it's hunger. Lo roba la sage. And sleeping without eating anything. And we said to one another, "Rite horona." We're going to use our hand to bring something. Ke se bedisa matso a rona o tsa go go. And it's my desire that the usual thing don't wait for a call. Bring something that you like. I'm standing here. That's why it's really transparent. I saw Jacobs in there. <laughs> I saw sealed Jacobs. Please, I'm not saying little office in Motore. We don't have coffee. You will get 10 rivers. <laughs> Please, I'm not saying little office in Motore. We don't have coffee. You know? You will get 10 rivers. <laughs> <laughs> now, every time when I come to this kind of things, I make sure I'm well dressed. I make sure that my lips are not. That that I am in need. I am not in need of anything. I am not in need of anything. But what can I tell you? God needs you. I, I don't need. God needs you. And when I do this, I make sure that I wash it. I make sure that I manipulate it. Like I can use a word. But I want you to take your and see here what the Lord is saying to you. We started so nice. We said three next next year we have three nice projects that we are going to push. And I said there's no building only in terms of building the wall. I just I, I desire to start ministering in you. And uh, I said, we build the city. 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 We build We do those main three projects next year. It's because of that. 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 Making sure that the souls have an impact. Now, we brought food with our own hands. We serve God with our time, with our gifts, and our treasures. And this decision does not ask how much is your balance. It wants to mamela the spirit of the Lord, not Marut. In Africa, they said they are pledging and they are planting And they did it well. It's what the Lord said to them, will do what the Lord has laid in my heart. There is a Lord's grocery. I want to look deep in your heart. I want to look deep in your heart. I've set the table here. I've put on three amounts. I've put on three amounts. I want you to challenge yourself. To you to challenge yourself. How would you this movement? When you feel that we, we, we sense the Lord is doing, it cannot be done without you. And the My Bible says those who were building. Realizing that you but have to stop it. That's why people are no longer stopping. They went to Moses and said, "Tell them to stop bringing their offerings now." Tell them to stop. Tell them to stop bringing their offerings now. I don't want you to pledge out of. I keep at the auto nehela hotwa. On what you have. 
Because you have nothing when. But God is one who can make you have. God will challenge you. Because there's what? People who watch it happen. And who do it? And who wonder what happened? Right now, you know, Handel, where you are seated, you've got nothing. But I want to hear what the Spirit of the Lord says unto you. Maybe Sunday, how you are telling me. Come on, get some dust out. 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 I want you to pledge. And this pleasure we We ask you to bring it in January. You can bring it at any time, but the, the deadline will be the 13th January. For us to grow and work. Therefore, I keep my promise. Give me the check. Bring it here. I know the scripture that says whatever the right hand is doing, the left hand must not receive. But when Jerusalem, when such offering was done in Jerusalem, until people were stopped, in open offering, in a little open offering, it was not an open offering. It was I beseech you. Don't come here impressing. Don't take a 500 envelope. Impressing. Don't take a thousand envelope. Or 300 impressing. Or you take the three of them. You are taking a shame for yourself. If you send the spirit of God, say take thousand and one three hundred. Take them. I have no problem. But do that because my Allah will say no. It's a say no because the Holy Spirit says you must do that. And I'm waiting for you as a kid to do so. Make it a mess while I'm seated like this. Don't decide what you have. But decide on what the Spirit of the Lord says you must do. Fair. Only that. I'm waiting for you. Do what the Lord says, please. Don't do as other people are doing. Hear what the Lord says. Verse 8. How are you going to do that? I don't know. I can say it. You also don't know. If you have knowledge, if you've got a knowledge, I should be my own language. It's not yet the spirit of the Because now say. obedience. Obana homa mela. Ki moya o o pushang hoyeza. Osina kuti suso ya nam. It's the spirit that pushes you to do without a carnal understanding. Hoyeza o yaka tato ya moya hana. You do according to the will of the Holy Spirit. Skayeza because we're not about nalen kapa na. Don't just do because you know what you have. But it's as if you do my own hana. But do according to as you hear the spirit. If he doesn't say anything, he didn't say anything. It's not a forceful spirit. Hence, I'm seated back here. If my eyes are intimidating you, ask his. 